The youth agenda is a key strategic objective for HEFA Kenya and uh, we work with them in different value chains. So specifically we work with them in the dairy and also in the poultry value chain. So what we do is to understand the, the needs of this youth through identification of the opportunities. So once we have identified the opportunities, we, we mentor them on enterprises and uh, then uh, bring the uh, other stakeholders uh, through linkages. By the name, I'm Nicholas Onyango Agom, a resident of Nyangoma, Kogelo, Sierra County. I'm a youth leader and also a poultry farmer. As a youth leader, I'm the one who spearhead activities of the youths within the Upendo. I mobilize the youths and also I do train them on various issues as poultry is concerned. We are 100 in numbers, but active youths that are participating in these activities are 50. My names are Kevin Owino Konyango, 34 years of age. I hold a diploma in animal health and uh, production. In Upendo Cooperative, I, I am a cave. That is a, a community agro uh, dealer and a, an extension service provider. So I own an agrovet and I, I do uh, sell poultry feeds, poultry drugs, poultry products and uh, pol uh, other veterinary equipment and uh, materials. I'm Judy Tatiano, 30 years old, a graduate of veterinary medicine. I'm a vet doctor, a mother of two, and I'm an entrepreneur running a business at Ndirukagan. In Kago Cooperative, I'm the extension officer of the cooperative. I provide farmers, I do extension services, I provide farmers with basic knowledge of poultry farming. Then I link them with where to get the best chicks. I, I link them with uh, where to get the best drugs, which is, of course in my shop, then I provide also feeds, animal feeds. I personally, I go to their farms. I provide, uh, I do poultry diagnosis. Those diseases, I diagnose them freely. That is charity work. Then besides that, they are formed groups which I can give them, for example, these things on a loan, then they pay after some time. We have had cases of farmers who are reporting an increase of flock, some who started with 50 and now they're at 200. We've had also some who are saying now they know where to source day-old chicks which are of good quality and therefore they are now doing that and sourcing that and feeding them on the right feeds and formulation. And therefore, we are seeing results. We're seeing uh, an increase in the number of chicken produced within a particular given time. Through uh, the Hatching Hope project, I've been able uh, to get linked to the market. Uh, when I produce my birds, I now have a linkage and a, a, a very resourceful people that I can sell my bird to. Hatching Hope has really helped us because they employed caves within Upendo that offered trainings to some of us. And currently they have also given us linkages with the chicken basket so that we can raise the hands, then the chicken basket takes off the market. They have given us education on the nutrition value of the po poultry. In various schools, we've gone through some schools where they were being taught how we should produce and how we should feed on poultry and poultry products. In Hatching Hope, at first we were trained. We were trained on being a good manager. So it has really helped me in managing my shop. Most youths have realized that it is not all about the white collar that brings food on the table. It's all about agriculture, it's all about uh, farming and things like that. So they are taking up uh, the agriculture technology and they are taking it up very positively and I can say it's a plus. There's opportunity in poultry farming. We should not wait to get jobs. First, your body is your capital. Invest in your body and start on with the poultry project. That's what I can urge the youth.